Hi, good holy. I'm Victor, and today I'll be showing you the simple steps on how to run, to navigate, and to maximize your Schoology Premium accounts. Let's start with the most important step logging in your Schoology student account. First, open your internet browser and go to htcjensen.schoology.com. Enter your username. And your password. Then click login. By doing that, you will be redirected to the home page. Your home page is the first place you will land every time you log in to Schoology. Your home page may show your recent activity or the course dashboard. As you open the home page, you will be redirected to the recent activity. Recent activity tab shows all the comments and updates pertaining to your school, courses, and groups. If you want to filter your feed and to view only updates, calls, or blog posts, click the most recent link in the top corner and select a filtering option. Next to the Recent Activity tab is the Course Dashboard tab. The Course Dashboard tab enables you to view all your courses or subjects as a tiled list. From the Course Dashboard, click any one of your courses and go directly to its main landing page. You can also click and drag course tiles to reorder or to rearrange them, just like this. Now, let's find out. What is inside your Practical Research 2 course tab? As you can see, we have folders attached. These folders contain the lessons, materials, support lesson aids, video links, assignments, quizzes, assessments, etc. Now, course materials can cover anything from lessons and presentations to assignments and exams. Each course may be organized differently, so the course materials might be listed in materials or organized into folders. To access your course's materials, click the course dashboard at the top of the Schoology page and select the course you would like to access. In this case, we have Practical Research 2 as the available course. The Course Update tab is used by instructors to create announcements and brief messages for the course. Updates will appear in the Update section of your course as well as on your home page. You and your classmates may comment on each update, or in some cases, your instructors may allow you to post updates. The grades area of the course profile displays your grades for assignments, tests, quizzes, and discussions within a course. When an item is graded by your instructor, the grades and comments will immediately display in this area. Your overall grade for the course is listed at the bottom of each page. The attendance area displays a record of the days you were marked absent, late, or excused. Instructors can also leave comments which will appear in the comment section. There are two ways to check your attendance in Schoology. 
first is through the grades. Click grades at the top of Schoology page and select attendance. There you can see the absent, late, and excuse records. The second way is through course tab. Click courses at the top of the Schoology. Select a course. We have Practical Research 2. Then click Attendance. There we have it. Next is the upcoming tab. This is the upcoming tab. The upcoming tab on the right side of, the, of your homepage displays events, assignments, tests, quizzes, and discussions with a due date. Hovering over each item displays the course or group associated with the item. In this case, no upcoming assignments or events. In addition, you may access your personal calendar by clicking the calendar link in the upper right of the upcoming tab. For more information about your personal calendar, review and explore the calendar section below. Now, shall we proceed to the Groups tab? Groups are an excellent way to connect with people locally and worldwide. Groups tab can be used to connect, collaborate, to share materials, to learn best practices, and more. There are so many different ways to use the Groups feature. They may become a vital part of your educational management and success. Once you join a group, you will begin receiving updates, posts, comments, and event notifications from the group to manage which notifications you receive. Explore more about this feature. Next is the Resources tab. The Resources tab is your own personal library of documents that you create in Schoology or download from other sites. It's easy to organize, create, and copy or move your resources right from the My Resources page. Saving your documents in this personal library enables you to access them for years to come and use them in the, any courses you take in the future. To view your resources, Click Resources at the top of the Schoology page. Collections are like containers that store folders and files in your resources. In this case, we have folder for General Biology 1, Gen Physics 1, Gen Chemistry 2, and Practical Research 2. To add a collection, follow these steps. Select the resources. Click Personal. Then click the Add Collection. Then, title your own collection. So then, there you have it. Use the search tool or the magnifier icon to search for your teachers, courses, and groups. So then, 
Now, let's proceed with the Schoology Calendar. The Schoology Calendar is an important organizational element for your connections, courses, and groups. It keeps events and due dates organized and easily accessible. By clicking the calendar icon, you can view events and due dates by the month, week, or day. Each item is color-coded depending on the courses, groups, school, or your own personal events. Due dates for assignments, assessments, and important course-related events are automatically added to your calendar and managed by your instructor. But you can create your personal events. To create personal event, follow these steps. Select the calendar icon in the top menu, then click the date to which you'd like to add the event. Fill out the event form. Then, click Create to complete. Once you have created a personal event, you can drag and drop it to move to another day on your calendar. Just like this. Next is the message icon. You may be able to receive messages from teachers at your school. When you have a new message in your inbox, the messages icon on the top menu displays an updated number. Notifications Notifications display course, events in chronological order as well as requests on calendar events. New notifications requires are indicated or requests are indicated by a number on the bell icon. Clicking a notification or request will allow you to view the related content. Next is your personal profile. Your personal profile contains information about you and your activity on Schoology such as your interests, parents, advisors, and course or group enrollments. To access your profile, click your name in the upper right on the header in Schoology page and then click your profile. Next is your account settings. Your account settings enable you to set different preferences for your, for your personal interface and how your account relates to other users. To get to account settings, click the down facing arrow in the upper right corner of the Schoology page and select the account settings option. Account settings enables you to change your password, establish your primary and secondary email address to notifications, adjust your time zone, access your Schoology calendar from different calendar tool, link different Schoology accounts, and merge different Schoology accounts. But do not change your username and your password. If you have questions and clarifications, please feel free to contact your teachers and other subject teachers. Happy learning!